Oh, hello. Uh, may I speak to Brian Kobilka, please? Speaking. Oh, hello. This is Adam Smith um, calling from NobelPrize.org, the website of the Nobel Prize. Um, we have a tradition of recording extremely short interviews with new laureates. Could we speak for just a very few minutes? Sure. <laughs> Thank you. I know it's the middle of the night there. Um, first of all, sincere congratulations on the award. Thank you. Um, I, I imagine the household was asleep when the call came? Yes, it was. <laughs> um, who took the call? Did you, di did you get it? Uh, well, the first call, I think, uh, didn't get answered. <laughs> and then the second one, I did. So they, they keep trying. Yes. <laughs> and um, and what, 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 what are one's initial thoughts on getting that call? I thought it was, I thought it was some friends initially, but I don't have friends that have a, a really good Swedish accent, so then I started believing it. <laughs> and um, do you feel that, um, do, you, do you feel this is an utter surprise? Uh, yes. <laughs> how nice, how nice. So it's I, very nice. Uh, <laughs> so you've been awarded the prize for your studies on G-protein coupled receptors, and since the 80s, when you joined the Lefkowitz lab, you've been trying to disentangle the structures of those receptors. For those who've never seen one, could you describe what they look like, their beauty? Well, that's really tough. Um, I'm trying to think of something in nature that I could, uh, you know, could use as an example, but there really isn't any, you know, anything that you encounter in, in, in the day that you could say is a, a good model for it, but be able to see it for the first time is, is really amazing in, in three dimensions. And uh, uh, so that was probably, uh, th there, were, there were times when you see some of the structures that we've gotten, particularly the one last year, where you see everything together and how it works together, which is really, you know, really very satisfying. So this is the entire complex together with the G protein attached and the ligand in place? Yes. Yeah, that's an amazing feat. It, I mean, it took so many years to get to that point, and many, I think, felt that it was o an almost impossible task. What kept you going? I don't know. It was just something that I really wanted to see, and I had, you know, a, a great a group of colleagues working on it. We were all excited about doing it, and um, you know, we just kept making incremental improvements in what we were doing, and finally, we succeeded. I mean. It, said it was a you know it was a really a group effort a lot of people involved and it was a very very exciting project it, and it's strange it's these receptors are normally said to mediate the actions of about half the medicines we take and yet nobody really knows about them it's amazing we're full of them and they're so important but they're rather unknown yes and we don't really know how to control them very well yet so even you know the medicines still aren't perfect they have side effects some of these are because uh, targeting for one receptor, they're still kind of promiscuous and they'll still bind to another type of GPCR. So we still have quite a ways to go before we can really take advantage of what we know about them in terms of um, therapeutics. Mm -hmm. Now, you're a notoriously self-effacing person and quite a quiet person, I gather. How do you feel about the prospect of the deluge of press attention that's about to arrive? Uh, I'm not really looking forward to that. Yeah, I mean, you tend to avoid the limelight, as far as I I know. Um, yes, I'm, as I said, I'm not, I'm not I'm not looking forward to that at all. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can minimise the impact. Um, you've been awarded with Bob Lefkowitz, uh, with whom, you, as I say, you, you worked in in the eighties, and in a way, you're very different characters. How did the two of you mesh together? Oh, we 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 meshed together very well. In fact, we're still um, we speak on a regular basis, and in fact, we're just uh, starting to put together a paper that um, our groups have been collaborating on a project for a couple of years and we, we've gotten some, made some progress. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, he was a fantastic mentor um, and uh, you were, we are quite different, but, you know, I think sometimes that works out well. Yeah, it's a marriage of op opposites. And I couldn't be happier for him. It's a lovely pairing, really, really nice. Just w one last thought. The field of structure solving in GPCRs is, is quite a competitive one, with people racing to get to the first structures. Again, how, d how does one deal with the competition element of it? Uh, I don't know that, I don't know how much it affects you. Uh, you. When you have a goal, you obviously want to be the first there. Um, 
scientists are sometimes as competitive as professional athletes maybe, but um, but you can't worry about it too much or it'll distract you from your goal. So and I'm not sure how else, what else to say about that, but if you really want something bad enough, uh, if you're really interested in something enough, you just you know keep working on it. Thank you. That's a lovely answer. Just personally, I just wanted to say that once when I was the editor of Nature Review's Drug Discovery, you contributed beautifully to some GPCR features we were doing. So it's a particular pleasure for me indivi individually to be speaking to you now. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> it was at the uh, collection of comments. That's right. That's right. Yeah. It was the state of GPCR research back in 2004. I think, I, I think at that time I said I thought someone would get a GPCR structure soon. Exactly. Yeah, I think I remember <laughs> making some comment <laughs> to that effect. It was quite. A, I think that was quite a bit before we got the structure, but yeah. So w when when you said someone, did you have yourself in mind, or were you not that? No, well, I, I had hoped it would be me, but <laughs> we didn't have any. You know, I, I wasn't very confident at the time we would get it. Yeah. There's a difference between yes, certainty, I suppose, and confidence, because you seem to have remained confident in the ability to get somewhere, even though you weren't certain you'd make it. That, that's true. I think I was somewhat confident. I think I had worked on it long enough. I think I knew the protein really well. Um, so somehow, I mean, I think if you've got to believe you can do it, otherwise, <laughs> it's you know, it's sort of a struggle because you have to you know get funding and keep the lab going, and so you you have to believe in yourself some to some extent. Mm. Well, it's been a great pleasure to speak to you, and I can picture the scene. Uh, presumably, all the family is now up as well. Well, my wife and I are up, and um, and the kids have heard of it. Uh, and I will have to tell you that, uh, you know, I have a, one of the rare marriages where my wife and I have been working together in the lab for, I mean, ever since I was in the Lefkowitz lab, and, uh, and we still, you know, she still, we still work together. So it's, it's particularly, you know, satisfying because, you know, she shares uh, a lot of the credit for my success in the field. And so it's, I feel like I'm sharing it with her as well. Oh, that's lovely. That's really nice. So I suppose the Nobel Prize is always a family prize, but this makes it even more so. <laughs> yes. Lovely. Th the kids are aware, but are they going to go back to sleep, or what do they do? Well, my kids are kind of old. <laughs> I don't know what. Suppose they're, they're, uh, uh, my daughter's um, going to turn 29 soon, and my son is 31, so they're not here at the house with us. But, uh, yeah, we, we text, texted them, and, and they woke up, and they called us, so. Okay, so there's uh, s sleepless people all over the States now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right, well, w when you come to Stockholm in December, we have a chance to interview you at greater length, and I very much look forward to that. Okay, thank you. Lovely. Best of luck with the day. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.